Hi, I'm Jason. So my mission today is to get what happened yesterday on camera. I visited a retention pond I had not been to in a while, and the bass were absolutely killing it. I was using the Zoom Ultra Vibe Speed Worm, and lily pads were everywhere, and I just had a ball. I caught about 18 or 19 bass in a matter of a few hours, so we'll see how I can do for you today. So here's the pond I was talking about behind me, just lily pads everywhere and lots of bass to go around. So again, I'm using the uh, Zoom Ultra Vibe Speed Worm and it did really good yesterday. So let's go for it. All right, so here we go. Yeah, it's a little one, but they're fun anyway. Ah, gotcha. All right, well, not a bad start. At least I caught one. I always thank my first fish of the day for keeping me from being skunked out, so thank you. <laughs> Another little guy. Well, two for two, pretty small, but hey, I'll take it. Big ones are in there, I know it. I saw them yesterday. Oh, got another one. Man, they're all small today. Ah. Well, one more to add to the list. <laughs> They love these Ultra Vibe Speed Worms by Zoom. So today I think I've got like 30 pound braid on my line and then I have a liter of I believe 20 pound mono uh, with just a little swivel here and then swivel there with a the clip so I can just change the baits out real quick and easy. So uh, seems like I catch more fish when they have this clear line and they can't see it. I got a fish in a lily pad. <laughs> oh, come here. Oh, goodness. There he is. Oh, I love that braid sound. Nice. Ah, and it's another little one. Today must be little day. Yesterday it was pretty big. I was getting twos and two and a halfs. And a lot of little ones too. But hey, I'll take it. So I'm back where I started now. It's about 11.35 a.m., so the sun's out, the heat's hot. Uh, we'll see if there's any action. Usually this time of day is not a good time to fish, but hey, you never know. Time to move. <clears throat> So I decided to check out the pond right across from the one I was just fishing. Um, this one, yesterday I didn't have as good a luck, but they were still biting, so we'll see what happens. Got a little one. about the same size as the other pond. Getting a little bigger maybe. That's a good sign. Hey buddy. All right, another largemouth bass for me. So for anybody wondering how I rig this thing up, I've got my U-Vibe Speed Worm from Zoom. It's got a little tail uh, and the down part is like that. So you want it to swim this way. So what I do is I go to the bottom here facing that way, I go straight down, only up until the bend, pop it out, and now I want to flip it around, and then find out exactly where it needs to pop through on the bottom, so right about there, so we go up, you can put it through or almost through, and then I like to skin hook it to make it sort of weedless, so now 
when I swim it, that that's how it swims. And the tail makes a racket and they just go for it. So uh, it's a three slash O or three aught hook, uh, extra wide gap is what I'm using. All right, new spot, let's try it out. Got one. Well, that was easy. <laughs> oh, I got a lily pad and a bath. And swamp stuff and no bass. <laughs> it happens. Oh, oh man. Holy cow. <laughs> I had him up in the air the whole time. That was cool. Whoa, another little guy. Now I'm hoping it gets fun. I'm in some heavier lilies, so we'll see. one today yet. I'll take it. <laughs> All right, hey buddy. Thank you, Bass. Thank you, thank you. Sorry to poke holes in you, but it's all part of the game. All right, sometimes you have to be nice to the bass. Um, instead of trying to rip them to pieces, getting your bait back, just get rid of the bait. If you can, take the hook off and then just run the hook back through uh, the way that won't hurt them. So in this case, I feel like I would hurt them too bad if I tried to get it out. So just push it through, twist it, pull it out, and then you have a much happier bass. Might have been off camera, but I got a little one. Oh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, there he is. All right, that was quick. Should be much easier to get this one off the hook. There we go. Another one off camera. <laughs> I should keep fishing over that way. Anyway, check this out. Woo. Not bad. I like this retention pond. This has been a good one for me. Sometimes you kill it, sometimes you don't catch a thing. It's the weirdest thing in the world. There we go. Not bad. I'd say pound and three quarter maybe. Not too bad. I remember this pond. This has been fun. And yesterday, I think it was like 19 bass I caught, and I was out there like four hours. I got carried away and <laughs> wanted like a new personal best day. Uh, I guess if you fish long enough and the fish are there, you'll get them. All right, so I got another one of those that I got to just take the hook off because I'd end up hurting them too bad. Ow. Sometimes they can hurt you. <laughs> All right, I know it hurts. Calm down, calm down. All right. Well, let's see with one thumb. I don't think I can get this open with the way the bass wants me to. There we go. All right, so there. Let's see if my trick works again. Mm, I don't know. It's only if the hole in them is big enough. There you go, got it. 
All right, bye, buddy. Sorry about that. So another thing I'm starting to do is when the top of the worm gets all messed up and it won't hold the hook anymore, you can just try just pinching it off, just having a new top. And uh, it's a little bit shorter, but it's been working great. Ooh, a lot of bass action over there. I gotta run. <laughs> Sometimes if you're too busted up and you're not catching, it's good just to go ahead and change it out. I'm back over where I started now at the main pond. So let's see, it's um, well into the heat of the afternoon, 1.18 p.m. So not a good time to be fishing. So if I catch anything, I'm lucky, but sometimes this pond surprises me. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Man, that was the fastest one I think I've ever caught. <laughs> boom, boom, he's in. Right, so midday afternoon seems all right, at least for one of them. So the midday heat's probably taken all my bites away, so I'm not sure if I'm coming back later today, but at any rate, I've had an awesome day bass fishing. I caught quite a few, and even in the uh, late morning heat, so. Uh, that's how it's done. That's how I do it, and it's a blast. So, get yourself a U Vibe Speed Worm from Zoom Ultra Vibe and uh, check it out for yourself. Have a great one. So it's about seven o'clock. I did come back to the pond. Um, I went back to the small pond because there are three people fishing the other one, and it's just too crowded. I wasn't getting any bites. So let's see what happens here. Finally, got one. Oh, and he got away. Well, anyway, half of it got one. <laughs> so they really aren't doing much of anything right now. It's like I have to be really gentle, really light, and just sneak it through the li lilies without hardly making a sound. about ready to give it up for the day but I figure at the very end I'm gonna fish this corner down here I've seen some really weird stuff crazy things like miniature bass on a vengeance uh, I've seen mudfish I've seen craziness so let's see what happens down here words out of the frame. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Now I'll take it. It's crazy how there's hardly anything biting right now, but this one did, and I'm happy for that. All right. Actually got him this time. <laughs> oh, that would have been my biggest one. Oh well, hopefully you get to see something. Well, I've got to call it quits for now. I had an unusually good time today and yesterday. It wasn't quite as on as it was yesterday, but I had 
plenty to keep me busy today. So, um, ironically, it was not good in the evening today where yesterday it was. Like I said earlier, these bass are just hit or miss. Sometimes you'll kill it and catch tons of them. Other times you'll get skunked out for the whole day with nothing. So, but anyway, if you made it this far in this video, uh, please give the video a like and subscribe to my channel. That'll help me a whole bunch. And I really appreciate your time. Have a great day and fish on. Thank you.